So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use one of the many online photo sharing tools to do some geotagging. Geotagging is when you just take pictures that you have and you assign them locations on a map. Uh, and so you essentially tag them with geographical information. I'm using Picasa web album. Picasa is a photo sharing tool by Google. Uh, you can also download a desktop version of Picasa that will allow you to organize your pictures and so on and so forth. Uh, and what I've done, I'm looking at an album here of pictures that I have to represent different landforms, different types of landforms, plateaus, coasts, uh, prairies or plains, uh, peninsulas, mountains, and so on and so forth. And uh, I just found these images online, and I've brought them into Picasso. I uploaded them to an album, and I called that album just Landforms, the name's over here. Uh, and then I, I clicked on Edit Captions, so I could edit these captions and, and uh, put them in for the pictures. And now what I would like to do is add them to uh, the map. And right within Picasso web album, I have access to the Google Maps. Uh, and so I can come down here and click on View Map. And it will bring the map up, and my images are side by side with it. And so it's zoomed right into the United States right now. But of course, all my images aren't from the United States. But I do have some that are from the United States. I've got uh, a map here of Michigan, um, which is, of course, a rep uh, example of a peninsula. So if I want to put it on the map, I can just click and drag and dr put it right over where Michigan is located. So again, I've, I've essentially tagged now information on this image to the location uh, of Michigan. So if I double click on it, I can actually see here I've got latitude and longitude uh, coordinates uh, and here is the caption that I have put in for this particular image. Michigan is a state we live in and it is made up of two peninsulas. Okay and so then I could of course remove it from the map or just close it. Uh, and so now if I want to add something else, I also have Florida as another representation of a uh, peninsula. So I can toss it in here and put that on the map in its appropriate location. Uh, I think I've got uh, an uh, example of a plane here, and this is from South Dakota. So I can grab this and put it in South Dakota. And I think I've got a valley here from, uh, it's taken in Wyoming. So I'll put that into place. And I've got uh, a, another valley from uh, Yosemite in California. So I can put that in place. And this is from Mount Fuji. I'm trying to see if I have any more that are from, oh, here's the coast along the uh, eastern portion of the United States. So um, if I really want to get particular, I can find out exactly what coast uh, this is. Um, but I'm just going to place it here along the east coast because it represents um, eastern coast there. And so this now is uh, a coast along one of the Hawaiian Islands. So I can move my map over if I want to. I can zoom in a little bit more to see Hawaii a little bit better. And I can take my image from Hawaii and place it right over Hawaii. And so let's look at what else I have left. I have a plateau in Colorado. So I'm going to take that and locate that in Colorado. Again, uh, I could get more specific if I wanted to, and I could determine exactly what plateau is being represented here and, and, and place that accordingly. Uh, I have a couple other here, uh, a couple other ones here. I've got Mount Hood from uh, Oregon. I'll put that into place. Uh, I have also some that are from uh, um, Europe, so I'm going to move across here to, uh, to Europe. I've got Italy representing another peninsula. Okay, I have um, also Mount Everest, and so I can continue to move over here to uh, Nepal, and I can place this here, my image of Mount Everest. Uh, I have also Mount Fuji, which is uh, in Japan. I think that's this one right here. So I can put that into place. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit to get uh, a little bit uh, larger perspective of things. So here are all my images. Now they're starting to overlap because I've zoomed out. But all my images from the United States. And I've got some of these images from uh, other spots of the, of the globe as well. Uh, and a plateau here that was taken from Africa, but it doesn't say in particular which country. So again, I'd probably want to find out precisely where in Africa this picture was taken. Um, but I'll place it 
place it here kind of as close to the middle. And so when I'm done, I can just click on done. Okay, and so now I've got this map. Uh, if I go back to album view, now I have this map. Uh, and here I can see a little thumbnail of the map with all the spots where things, pictures are located. I could embed this as a slideshow just by clicking here and taking this uh, code. And my options are I can have different sizes uh, of a slideshow if I want. Um, and it's just going to embed the, the slideshow itself. So let me show an example of that. Here's the actual, let me refresh this real quickly to get it updated. Um, here's where I've embedded this slideshow into uh, a wiki. And right now, of course, it's just showing it as a slideshow. Um, but if students click on this, it'll take them to Picasso. And uh, even if they don't have an account, they will still be able to view the map. See, the map shows up down here. Now, I'm logged in, but even if I wasn't logged in, um, as long as this w album is made public, they would be able to view it. So I could click on View Album Map, or the students could click on View Album Map, and they would be able to see different pictures, click on them, read the caption, and learn more about that particular location. Um, so I could assign different tasks based on what the pictures showed um, and what the, the information the captions provided. Uh, I could also have students create their own uh, geotagging maps. Um, maybe we're learning about different parts of the, the um, world or different parts of the country. And uh, maybe they've got images, for instance, from uh, the 13 colonies. And so then uh, you might ask them to tag those images on the, or on the map, place those images on the map, um, or any number of things. I know what comes to mind are more geographical type uh, lessons, but I think that this can apply to, to areas outside of social studies and geography as well um, when we really start to think about its uses.